Hey, Daniil Lanier here, and I want to talk to you today about working at home. Not just working at home, but how do you get moving and stay fit in your home office? Because what I'm finding is people are not moving around as much in their home office as they did when they went to work. When you went to work, you had different departments. Sometimes you had maybe uh, people have a campus. And you were able to walk around and actually get moving and, and get your blood flowing in your office. Where what I find that people working at home is you're pretty much staying put. You're doing your work all day. You may go to your kitchen or something like that, but you're not as active as you would be if you were in the office when you were going to your office. So I want to talk to you a little bit today about working at home, but some things you can do to kind of stay fit, stay active, and keep yourself moving when you're working at home. One of the things you can start off with is possibly getting something like a raised desk. Now, this is the Trasanti standing desk, and this is something you guys check out the video on the Trasanti raised desk. You guys will like it, but this is the first thing to kind of get you up, get you out of your seat so you're not just sitting, where well, you can go ahead and raise your desk up, and this allows you to at least get on your feet. So the first thing I would say, think about getting some kind of standing desk. It doesn't necessarily have, necessarily have to be a desk like this with a whole desk. There's also a little desk stands you can get to raise your desk up as well. The other thing I'm going to talk to you guys today is about balance boards. So we're really going to focus in on balance boards because outside of the raised desk, once you get up and start standing, what's the next thing you can do? I'm going to talk a little bit about balance boards. Let's get into it. All right. So there's a couple of different types of balance boards you can get. So this is the yes for all. And this is a circular balance board. And the difference is in this type of balance board, you got kind of like a little ball on the bottom down here. And as you're balancing, you're going to be able to go back and forth and side to side. So this one's actually going to take a little more balance for you to kind of balance this. So you're going to engage your core and your legs a lot more when you're using a circular balance board. So this is something to think about. Now, I will say, if you don't have really good balance, this one's going to take you a little bit more time to kind of get the hang of. I'm not saying don't use this one, but it's just going to take you a little bit more time to get the hang of the circuit one because you're going back and forth and side to side. So the circular one, a little more balance you're going to have to do, but you're going to activate a lot more things when you're using this one because you're going to get a lot more leg action, a lot more of your core. This one also, you get a twist so you can get your obliques going in here as well. So this is the circular, and this one's by Yes For All. And there's different ones you can get. Um, this one is by Strong Tech, and this is just a side to side. You're not going to have that back and forth action that we have on the circular. This is just going to be a side to side. So this may be something I say, hey, I don't know if I want to do balance boards, Daniil. This may be something to start off with, or you can just go right to this one. I'm not saying you have to have both. I just wanted to show you guys two different types. That's why I have both. So this is only a side to side. So you're going to go side to side. You're not going to get as much leg action. You're still going to definitely get some core, but I will say the side to side it's going to be a lot easier for you to maintain balance on this one. So you're going to find yourself that you're not activating your core and everything as much as you're going to do in the circular one because you're going to be able to maintain balance on this one a lot easier than you would this one. Once, sometimes when, I, when I'm using this one, once I maintain balance, I don't even have to move again. I'm, I'm going to be on there and just pretty much standing. So I wanted to get something that's gonna allow me to activate a lot more of muscle groups and keep me really moving. So that's really the difference between the two, but there's still great ways to just get active and keep moving. So I would say um, if balance is an issue, either one of these is gonna be good for you because you're gonna have to really maintain balance on, on both of them. Uh, if you've done anything like skateboarding or anything like that, this one's gonna be really quick for you to, to balance and maintain where you're gonna Still be able to balance on this one, but you're gonna you're gonna have to actively keep working to maintain balance on this one because slight adjustments you're gonna have to get back into balance again on the circular one. All right, let's get into it. Let's just show you guys a little bit some movements on both of these.
All right, so here we are. We got our desk raised up. We're ready to get active. So let's say we're working, but we want now we want to stand. We want to be a little more active while we're working. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of place it because you have to get everything kind of set up so you can work. So you got to get your distance right away from the desk so you can still work and balance. So we just come in here, I'll get it in, get on, and then I'll get my mouse, my keyboard in a place where I can work and I can still do everything. Make sure I can reach this one. Yeah, I usually just pull the laptop a little forward. Come on here, and then I can work. All right, so then you can go in, and you're just gonna be doing your day as normal. Now, something I will tell you this: when you're using this, is you want to resist the urge to use your hands to balance you. You want to resist that urge kind of use your hands and what I mean by that is and you can see how you can turn and get your obliques going in this is if you put your hands on your desk and you leave your hands on your desk you're pretty much keeping your balance with your hands you're not activating your muscle groups so what you want to do is kind of resist that and really keep your fingertips just on your keyboard you see you see how my movement changed as soon as I took my hands off if I rest my palms on here I can really lean on my arms and I'm not balancing. Whereas if I take them off, I, I gotta get back to making sure I'm maintaining a level of balance here. So you wanna keep your, your, your fingertips on your keyboards and just kind of control your mouse where you're not putting your palms and after you resting your arms on the desk, that's gonna keep you more active on the desk so you can move around. And then you can, you know, there's times where you may just wanna turn away and actually get into and there's a lot of different exercises that you can look up that you can do when you're on the balance board there's a lot of different exercises because you can do things like usually I'll, I'll take a I'll step away a little bit pull away from the desk and I may do some uh, some squats get right get in there and as you see you gotta you gotta really maintain and I'll do some squats here you're really activating your core, still maintaining that balance. So I'll do some squats, then I'll get back to work. You can also get down, you can get in here, and you can do some push-ups with it as well. So I'll do that. Also, just kind of keep the blood flowing, keep moving. Now, I will say with the push-ups, if you have a tile floor, be careful how you're pushing down on it because um, on my towel floor, I realize if I get my arms too far forward, it could slide underneath you. So be careful. You really want to keep your arms in the middle. There are some circular ones that come with a handle. So you can hold it if you're doing push-ups on it. Now, so that's the circular one. And on the side to side, it's kind of the same action. But again, we're just not, we're just not doing, let me get, get it where I need to be. We're just not doing the, the back and forth. So once you get your balance in here, again, start working. Make sure you're not resting your wrists, your arms, and you're going. As you can see, this one for me, once I get pretty balanced, I'm pretty good on this one. I can kind of maintain, I can stay here. Same type of deal though on this one. You can do some squats and everything on this one. Go through. But I will tell you, it's definitely a little more challenging on the circular. Push up the same. So, Definitely a way that you can get yourself active while you're working. So what I'm telling you guys is if you're working from home, you got to stay at home, you got to work, find some ways to get yourself active while you're working, standing desks, balance boards, great way to really just get the blood pumping, get yourself moving, activate some different muscle groups. So balance boards, 
it's, it's real cheap too. These things are effectively right around $25, $30. So you're not spending a lot. And it's something you can always use. What I found, since I've got these balance boards, if I am watching TV, sometimes I won't sit on the sofa. I'll actually just stand on the balance board and watch TV. So these are definitely cool features that you can use, um, uh, cool tools that you can use in your house, working from home. We're isolated right now that you can work from home and get a lot of exercise here and there throughout the house, not just while you're working in the office. All right. So this is Daniil Lanier talking about working at home, staying fit while you're working at home, staying active, keeping yourself together. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I got more reviews, DIY, how to's, and of course, cool motivation coming at you. This is Daniil Lanier. I'm going to get to work, get some balance done. I'm out. Deuces.